yes, amen. Glory be to God in the highest, amen. For his mercies endure red forever, amen. For his mercies endure red forever, amen. I just want us to just open our mouth this morning. Let's give God praise. Let's worship Him. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the Almighty. Is the Almighty. Let's give Him praise. Let's thank Him. Just wave your hands to the Almighty. Wave your hands to Him. Wave your hands to Him. He's the one who kept you to be alive. Even up to now, is the one. Is the King of Glory, the King of Peace, the Almighty, the Lord of Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name. We praise. Now I call on Reverend Samson to give us an opening prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord for a day like this. I want us to sing a, a song so that I go into prayer. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, you, Lord for, for everything, everything you have done in our life. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our home. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything in our home. In this nation, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Our Father and our God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When we look back, it is something, yes. When we look back, how many families that have been rolled out nurtured in this lady last school that this school is still existing and is still relevant in your plan and program for the nations for the kingdom of god jehovah lord we gather together as a family we say lord thank you Amen. baba we say thank you Jesus. many are the rivers we have crossed Amen. many are the wind that blew in all this oh god we appreciate you because you give unto us as a family to return thanks to you receive our thanks and praises in jesus name father we thank you for every home thank you for everything that we have done many 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 even this yesterday night to this morning many slept they do not wake up but we are looking at everything left and right, ups and down. It's part of many things that are happening, terrible things that are happening. Yet, you see, give us life. And you gave us peace. Day in, day out. Thank you, O God, for all this, our daddies and our mommy, how they have started in this school. Very young. 
Thank you, O God, for how you have kept them throughout their uh, education life. Thank you, O God, for their marital life. Thank you, O God, for everything that concerned them. Jehovah, I pray, as we gather together today, even as the world will be coming forth, Lord Jehovah, the angel at the sixth month came unto Mary and delivered message of favor, message of expansion, message of God's glory. This is another sixth month, O oh God, in our own generation. We pray, O oh God, the message that is going to come out this morning, Lord Jehovah, will be message of breakthrough. Will be message of favor. Will be message of strength. Will be message of salvation. Will be message, O oh God, of healing. Will be message, O oh God, of upliftment of promotion in life, in every area of life. Mighty and everlasting Father, as these ones have come together, I know what they are doing now in giving thanks to you is a thing that is acceptable in your sight. And you will count it as righteousness unto them. Baba, your word says that in righteousness thou shalt be established. And the affliction will be far away from you. I pray, O oh God, as they have come in this righteousness, Baba, affliction will be far away from them. The whole Lord God Almighty, by your grace in years to come, they will come with greater testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, let them be acceptable in your sight. Because many people come before the altar of God, but they are not acceptable. Baba, I pray, oh God, this one will be acceptable. And oh Lord God, your holy angels will minister to them. And this one will never remain the same again. As many of them that are weary, you strengthen them. As many of them that are weak, oh God, you lift them up. As many of them, oh God, in one way or the other, they have one need or the other. This is a house of God, a holy place. Baba, breathe upon them. Bless them, oh Lord. That they will be happy that they have come into the presence of God. So shall it be in Jesus' name. We cover them all with the blood of Jesus. As many of them that are still on the way that are coming. Baba, I pray quicken their steps. Direct their steps. And oh Lord Jehovah, even after now, you will continue to strengthen them. And bless them. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and superintend over the affairs of this program. Even the one they are going to do after now. Baba, we pray that your Holy Spirit we fill them. We quicken them. Grant them the unction to raise great men in the midst of this young one. In the name of Jesus. There shall be no bad news. Good news shall be their portion. In Jesus' excellent name, we do pray. Thank you so much, sir. Please, can we give our pastor, our reverend, a round of applause there? Let's bless the Lord for the. Now, we shall be led in praise and worship by our wonderful choir. Please, you can lead us. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want us to lift up our hands and worship the name of the Lord. I don't know his only name is the ancient of days is the I am that I am. Is the beginning and the ending is the same yesterday is the author and the finisher of everything on earth. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God of fire. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. I want 
to lift up your hands. He truly is God. From beginning to the end, children, I wanted to wave your hands to the King of Kings. To the Lord of Lords, to the ancient of men. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God. You are God. Hallelujah! 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 H
name we worship thank you very much our wonderful choir thank you so much we appreciate a round of applause for our wonderful choir before we go to the please let us remain standing please before we go to the next item on the on, our, on the agenda i quickly want to rep, uh, recognize the presence of the following individuals that came in during the ministration please Reverend Idubisi Osua, one of our pastors here. You are welcome, sir. I think Reverend just okay. Thank you very much, sir. Please. A round of applause. Okay, we can sit down because I don't want us to be doing a size. A round of applause. Thank you very much. We can sit down for those a few seconds. Thank you so much. Also, in our midst, we have our head teacher of Lady Lack in the person of Mrs. Oshidino. Madam. Hallelujah. My student clap for my mommy very well. Also, in our midst, we have the assistant health teacher, ICT, in the person of Mrs. Lanio. Please, student clap. Let me clap you for our teachers there. Also, in our midst, we have Mrs. Akingbe. Also a teacher in Lady Lab, please. Thank you very much. And here also we have Mr. Ojo of our Hyde City. Mr. Ojo, can you stand up for recognition? Thank you so much. We are all welcome to this occasion. Now, before we start, go into the program in, the, in full. I want us to stand up and let us recite the national anthem. Student, I want you to take the lead here. Yeah. Everybody, yes. So, sorry, uh, while we remain standing, I also want to recognize our father in the Lord. It's my own father too. The resident pastor, Reverend Olayemi Ayoko. Please let's put our hands together for him. Praise the Lord. So very quickly we take the national anthem and after the national anthem we take the school anthem. Are we ready? Okay. So the national anthem. All right. Father's land With love and strength and faith The name of all the heroes past Shall never be in vain Found in freedom, peace and unity. Amen. So we take the uh, school anthem together. On the eastern side of Yaba Town is the Lady Lang.
Okay, so let's take it. One, two, go. On the eastern side of Yaba town is the Ladi Lag. Little boys and guests of every town, never mind whether they are black. From our teachers, please, we are all taught, and our principal at times instruct us. L and D, E, L and K, stand for R E P U T E, God of mighty bless and my again, God of mighty bless. And my, let's take it all over again. On the eastern side of Yaba town is the Ladila. Little boys and girls every time. Never mind whether they are black. From a teacher's lips, we are all taught. And our principal at times instruct us L A D A L and K stand for R E P U T E God of mighty blessed and mighty school. Amen. Let's be seated. Just turn to the next person beside you and welcome him or her and said you are welcome to the 87th uh, anniversary of Lady Lag. Amen. Let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together. Uh, before I take the opening remark, uh, I want to also recognize the presence of our pastor. Pastor Tunde Ojo is in the house. Is the assistant resident pastor. Please let's jam our hands together for him. Also, we have in our midst this morning, we have Reverend Samson Aleolua. Please let's put our hands together for him too. Daddy, you are welcome. Thank you, and God bless you. I quickly take the opening remark. The resident pastor of the uh, Foursquare Gospel Church, the headquarter here in uh, Lagos, Akiumi Street, the headmistress present, all our teachers present, the retired people present, all the old students and also the pupils. Let me first thank the organizing committee for their effort this morning to celebrate this 87th anniversary of the founding of the Lady Lack Institute, Yaba, Lagos. The 87th anniversary of this eminent institution, like Lady Lack, is an appropriate occasion for us to reflect on how the institution started, who provided the driving force, what were the idea and vision of the founder, and how has the institution grow over the years. In the case of Lady Lack, our starting point must surely be the arrival of late Mrs. Rita Akanji Macaulay. Let me use this medium to celebrate you, myself, and also the school that we passed through, which also passed through us along the course of our lives. Big congratulations to everyone. The school was founded on the 4th of June, 1934, with four pupils on roll. 
it was founded by a woman activist lover of children and a lawyer by profession in person of late mrs rita akonje macaulay the late rita akonje also founded lady lark school shomolu a papa and sisi obasa the nursery school at yaba since its founding it has continued to produce some of nigerian notable and respected individual who have played major role in shaping the countries politically and also economically the school has been waxing stronger by day and still producing journals to date it has been said and believed since long that for any great work to be done it is important to have the right foundation it actually forms the platform on which the future stands the foundation day of the school is the day from which the institution started is joining. It is therefore obvious that the day is special and needs celebration in due manner. Every year, when foundation day is celebrated in school, college, and any institution for that matter, it is time to reflect on the beginnings that took place and how since the inception changes have come paving the way for success over the year. Foundation Day is also the day when the past, present, and future of the institution come together, taking vow to uplift the institute to the greatest possible height and dimension. While saying something on Foundation Day, I should not mean thanking the late founder and our family of this great institution who had a vision of impacting such high quality education to the poopies. Without their vision and constant support and blessings, the Institute would not have become what it is today. Special thanks also goes out to the teachers, the administrators who have been with the institution, Institute even since inception and guided the pupils in the best way possible in every sphere of their lives. The Lady Lack Institute does not only produce highly academically qualified individuals, but people with the overall development and growth. This is what true education is all about. Uh, on our foundation day, we take a pledge to work endlessly for the growth and development of the institution from all aspects. We seek sincere blessings and wishes from all our teachers, seniors, and well wishers so that we succeed in our mission. Thanking all of you again on our Founders Day for making this journey successful. In conclusion, may I commend and congratulate you once again for your good work done. I would also like to thank the past and present administrators, teachers, and also old peoples for their hard work and unstinting sacrifice the Lady Lack Alumni Association for their ardent and unflinching support, the Allah Gomeji in Diaspora, the Four Square Gospel Church, parents and well wishers for their generous help that have made Lady Lack what it is today. I hope that present and future generation of Lady Lack Institute will continue to perpetrate the good work started by late Mrs. Rita Akonji Macaulay and live up to the Lady Lack motto that says we believe in future not arm i want to thank the resident pastor for giving us the opportunity to use the auditorium to the glory of god praise the lord thank you so much mr president sir a round of applause from the angle please thank you so much i'm going to call on a, one of the old students to take us in the Bible reading for today, I will call on Miss Rabbi, Miss Labake to come forward, please. Thank you very much. A round of applause for her, please. Good day, everyone, and happy celebration. Our Bible reading for today shall be taken in the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 15 to 18. 
Luke 17, 15 to 18. It read does. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving thanks. And he was a Samaritan. So Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? The last verse. Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? May the Lord bless his word. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. I will now call on our choir to release those in the aim, blessed assurance. Our choir, please. Why the choir is set, they're coming in. Can we all rise up to take the hymn? Blessed assurance.
right there. Thank you very much, lovely uh, choir. Please, a round of applause for them. So, my choir, you help me to work, to welcome our pastor for this short sermon, uh, short sermon for today's occasion by calling. I'm going to call on Reverend Olayemi. Okay, okay, okay. Then, thank you for the. Thank you so much, sir. So, I'm going to call on Pastor Tudo Ojo to come and give us a small, a short sermon. Why did the choir lead him on? Thank you very much. For square we stand for the living world, for the word of God. Tell it to all the story of kingdom, stand of Jesus' bride. Well, of sorrow and of grief, dying on the tree. The false flag has come. The false flag has come. Yeah, the false flag message me. Jesus, only Savior, baptize our healer. Jesus, the call me peace. The false flag has come. The false flag has come. Yeah, the false flag message me. Jesus, only Savior, baptize our healer. Jesus, the call me peace. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. On the topic, a heart of gratitude. I'm very grateful for our father in the faith, our resident pastor, who has given the this privilege. Under the leadership of our senior pastor, is also the general overseer. I'd like to welcome you to one of the most concerned Christian communities in this nation, the Four Square Gospel Church, 6266 Akinwumi Street. You welcome all the distinguished people, our head teacher, and all the, all the teachers. I have a very, very emotional relationship with teachers, so I want to thank you. I don't have the time to, to, you know, to do that. My father retired as headmaster, so you can imagine. My auntie retired as a teacher. My uncle died teaching. My wife is a teacher. I also have taught before. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. I have taught before. In fact, I left teaching thinking, oh, Tito, everything. But I'm back to teaching. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to thank of the Ladylark uh, Old Student Association and all the distinguished ladies and gentlemen that are here. I'm so happy to see the students. Greater tomorrow, the Lord will lift up your heads in Jesus' name. Yeah. Let's give Jesus, children, give Jesus a very huge appreciation. <laughs> Amen. Although the, the passage has been read, I will please crave your indulgence that you allow me to read the passage. We pray and I'll just share briefly and then we'll be done. Luke 17, 11 to 19. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up all their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourself unto the priest. And it came to pass. And as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, and one of them, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten 
cleansed. But where are the nine? There are no found that return to give glory to God. Save this stranger. It's only this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith had made thee whole. Amen. Amen. Thy faith had made thee whole. Amen. Amen. Ten lepers were healed. Nine did not return. Only one. Shall we stand together as we pray? Lord, we thank you. Bless your word into our heart in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Amen. A heart of gratitude. That is the topic of our short exhortation. A heart of gratitude. I want to say we want to thank the Ladilac, the Ladilac team and everybody at the school for being our neighbor. We've been our neighbors over these years. And we've had a whole lot to share. We are very grateful. I think on, on last Sunday, there was a documentary about children that grew up in this church. They are now adults. Some of them in Europe, some of them around the world. And I remember very well. I'm sure some of us can, some of us who are in church can talk about how they mentioned how they grew up in the Sunday school. The children's church was at Lady Lack. I mean, I came to this church many, many years ago, and I've always known that was our children's church. Of course, before the government said uh, um, schools should not be used for religion, relationship has flowered, and we are very grateful. I think it's on that we we'll start. Let's give the, the, the school and the old student association a huge round of applause. As four square people, we are grateful. May the Lord bless you. All the work that you do, we are very, very grateful. Now, we are just going to look at how, why should we be grateful? And let's look at exactly what happened. Let's look at what happened. You know, the lepers cried out to Jesus. Everywhere in the, in the New Testament, the people cried out for mercy, except the man who was already in hell, they got help. The lepers came to Jesus. Lepers were not supposed to be in town. By the rule of, of, of uh, by the Old Testament, they had to live outside of town, and any time they came to town, they had to be ringing bell to say unclean, unclean. They were outcasts. They were not members of the society. It was a very difficult life that they had. You know, if they, if they had food, you know, they had to come to town to buy food. They, they, they had to ring. They had to tell everybody. The great, I mean, imagine if you had an ailment. If you have a sickness, even if everybody could not see it, you have to announce that you were unclean. It was a very bad situation to be. Because of our time, I wouldn't want to, you know, go on the situation, the context of the lepers. But they met Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And they crowd out in prayer. I pray that at the end of this, this message, God is going to answer your prayer as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Say amen like you mean it. Amen. Have mercy. Mercy triumphs judgment. Mercy is the is thing when we are, we are all due for God's judgment. Except for his mercy. But we are going to get back. Jesus gave him an instruction based on the law of Moses. Go and do this and then show yourself, on, you know, and show yourself to the, to the priest. They were the certifying authority to be sure that they were, they were okay. On the way, they look at their bodies. They look at their fingers. They look at their eyes. They look at their, you know, toes. And they saw they were whole. What a glorious experience. That's what happens when we have an encounter with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. They became healed. I pray that anyone with an ailment here, a sickness that has been bothering you, the Almighty God will, be, will heal you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say amen like you mean it. Amen. If you know how many people have died of coronavirus, if you hear a prayer like this, you will say amen. And don't say, oh, children are not involved. Some children were involved. Some young people were involved. But we thank God we are alive and we are here. Jesus gave an instruction. 
any time we obey divine instruction, any time we obey his instruction, I pray that as I will give you God giving instruction this morning, you will respond in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus gave them instruction, go, and they did. The lepers had faith and obeyed the voice of Jesus. You must have faith and obey the voice of Jesus. The only way for miracles to happen in our lives is for us to have faith and obey the voice of Jesus and obey his command. The Bible says his command, the commandments of God are not grievous. They are not terrible. They are not difficult. Jesus was amazed. Jesus was amazed that out of ten people, only one came. Research has been done. The people who are grateful are very few. Some people will say, what have you done that nobody has, that has not done before? Even if you are the, is the person that you are feeding inside your house, you will say, Children, please be grateful to your parents. Are you listening to me? For sending you to school. Are you listening to me? Say yes if you mean it. Be grateful to your teachers. They are laboring over you. They are working hard over you. Be grateful. Be, say thank you to all the people, all the staff. All the people making sure that you grow. You grow very well and in terms of good education. Why is this very important? Someone has said, Victor Hugo, he said, he who opens the door of a school closes a prison. He who opens the door of a school closes a prison. That's why we need to reflect on the legacy of the founder of Lady Lack, Mrs. Rita Akadje Macaulay. I was trying to check on Twitter, but I think Twitter is down now in Nigeria. You know what has happened. There's something on Twitter, and the last page that we could get was she was a daughter of. If she was Macaulay, it's possible that she was a daughter of Haba Macaulay. When you go over there, you see the statue of Haba Macaulay, isn't it? Uh, that gives us a lot of memories. I'm sure the old students, you, you have a lot of memories of friends. Am I right? You have a lot of memories of the past. This woman, 87 years ago, founded, opened a school, opened the door of the school. In fact, many schools. And by that token, according to Victor Hugo, she closed the door of uh, a prison. Praise the name of Jesus. To be grateful to that legacy. We have to thank God that he had that opportunity. Praise the name of Jesus. Please. God is looking for people who are grateful. We are, we are often asking God for help in prayers. But even when he has done it, we are not grateful enough. I pray that this morning... God is going to give us a heart that is filled with gratitude. A heart that is grateful in the mighty name of Jesus. Grateful to God. Grateful to our parents. As children, some of us still have uh, you know, parents that may be aged. For sending us to school, one of, the, one of the things I don't know how my life will become, will have become if I didn't have education. I just can't imagine it. I'm like the man in the Bible. I can't dig anything. In fact, I, I've tried to sell physical things. I didn't succeed. I can only sell ideas. I can only use my brain to work. I'm grateful to my father and my, my parents for sending me to, go, uh, to, to, to school. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. All the ten lepers had faith, but only one was thankful. The church is full of religious people. They can pray, they can fast. But when it comes to gratitude, they miss out. And you know what happened to the man who came back? Jesus said, were there not ten lepers healed? Where are the nine? Were there not ten lepers healed? Where are the nine? And the one that returned was even a Samaritan. We don't have a long time between the Samaritans and the Jews. The Samaritans were not their second class citizens. They are like outcasts. The Jews did not respect, they did not, you know, recognize them. 
He was a Samaritan. Praise the name of Jesus. As I close this message this morning, gratitude attracts wholeness. The man who came back was not just healed, he was whole. Hallelujah. Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. I think it's in a conversation with my wife recently. He said, it's not no longer enough to pray for healing. We need to pray for wholeness. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's on that note that we are going to look at wholeness. What does it mean to be whole? What does it mean to be whole? The word salvation in the Bible is a, is a complete word. It's a complete word. The salvation that we have in Jesus Christ, for those who have given their heart to Christ, caters for the salvation of the soul. The redemption of the spirit is from the Greek word sozo. So if you have given your heart to Jesus, God has offered you a complete salvation. God has offered you something that is a threefold salvation. And it's on that note that we are going to pray this morning. That God, if you're here, you have not given your heart to Jesus. You may have faith, but if the faith is not founded on Christ, oh, you don't have salvation. The Bible says there is no other name given among men where we, we, whereby we can be saved except the name of Jesus. Accept the name of Jesus. Shall we bow our heads as we pray? I want us to thank God for Lady Lark School. Let's thank God for the heritage of the founder. I want you to speak, please. I want you to speak, please. I want you to speak, please. I want you to thank God for the teachers, the head teacher, you know, the staff, everyone. I want us to appreciate God. Please, if you keep your mouth shut, you're only confirming the words of Jesus that out of 10, only one will return, 10%. That is only 10% of the people that are grateful. The grateful people are very few. Let's speak to God and thank, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the establishment of this institute 87 years ago and it's still thriving and it's still doing well. Father, we thank you for the founder and the heritage and the family. We're grateful for all the teachers over the years. We're grateful for all the staff over the years. We're grateful for all the students, the great men and women that have passed through and those who want that are here. Father, we pray that you continue to strengthen the school in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Is anyone here who is sick? Father, we pray that your hand of healing and mercy will reach out to such person in the name of Jesus. Amen. Is anyone here? Is anyone here? You have not given your heart to Jesus. This is a great opportunity. This is a church where we believe Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the soon coming king. Is anyone you want to, you have not given your heart to Jesus and you want to use this opportunity of the anniversary celebration, 87th anniversary celebration and Thanksgiving of Lady Last School to say, I want to give my heart to Jesus. Do you want to raise your hand? I won't tell you to come forward. We don't have time for you. But you can wave to Jesus. You can wave to Jesus. I want to give my heart to Jesus. You have not given your heart to Jesus before. I want to give my heart to Jesus. The Lord bless you. Our children, the Lord bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, as many people as are raising up their hands, touch their hearts in the name of Jesus. Make them your children in the name of Jesus. Change their lives in the name of Jesus. Forgive them their sins in the name of Jesus. Let them experience your mercy in the name of Jesus. 
Make them your children in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for Lady Last School and all that you have done and all that you are doing this through the staff, the academic and non-academic. We thank you, Lord, for the leadership of the Lady Lark Old Student Association and what you are doing through them. We thank you because the president has said it's not just about the past, but it's also about the present as well as the future of the school. We pray that you make the future of the school brighter in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Open a school and uh, close the door to jail. That is the word, one of the words I picked from what he has said. And uh, Mrs. Macaulay did that for some of us and a lot of us here. He has, she did open a school and most of us find it difficult to know the gate to the prison. And for as much as I still coming to Lady Lark, that will be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Before we go to the next program on this agenda, I want to powerfully recognize the presence of one of our teachers, our old teacher. She is here with his lovely wife, and I'm talking about Pa, all old students, all students will welcome him by standing up. Pa, Joshua Ogbala, a round of applause for him. As, and um, auntie, and his lovely wife, Mrs. Esther Aduke Ogbala. Please, a round of applause, Baba, please. Auntie, please help me take Baba to that seat there. As he's walking there, continuously clapping. Student, all students, continue clapping until he gets to his seat. Auntie, me let him pass, please. Yes, so please lead. Uh, no, 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 no clap. No paparazzi. Please continue clapping, student, till daddy gets to his seat. You support him to his seat. Yes, thank you. He's one of those that brought us up, one of those that taught us our one, two, three. One of those that taught us our ABC is still alive today. And we are proud to see him. Please. Round of applause. Student, I want you to continue clapping. Even with your Okay. Once again, as I'm saying, he is one of those that taught us our first one, two, three. Our first ABC, and he's also here to see us that we have attained this greatness. A round of applause for him. So please welcome Pa Joseph, I just say, Obola, and his lovely wife, Mrs. Esther Aduke Obola. A round of applause, please. Continue clap up, student. My pastor, thank you for very much for the, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Daddy, you are welcome. We, as all students, we are proud to see some of the people that took us from the cradle and uh, put us, gave us a very good foundation. We are very grateful. Thank you so much, Daddy. We are very grateful. A round of applause as we go to our next... Oh. Another privilege information. Baba retired almost 30 years ago from service. So, by next year, Baba will be 89. And God has kept him to see some of... Please, another round of applause for him. Thank you so much. We bless God for your life. We bless God for the children that God has given you. We beg, bless God for the grandchildren, great grandchildren that God has given you. Choose students once again, round of applause for grandpa, great grandpa. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. The next item on this program is testimony. I'm only being allowed to have three people who have one thing or the other to say about Lady Lack. We are not fortunate to meet, to have met uh, Mrs. Uh, College, uh, Mrs. Macaulay. But there might be one thing or the other we, that sounds as something that you want to share with us. So this is an opportunity for you and I to come and give testimony about our lives, your lives, when we were in Lady Lack. We are, do we have anybody in the house that has something to tell us? Testimonial student. Okay, I'm seeing one. I'm seeing two. Please stand up. Be, stand up, stand up. Let us. Yes, round of applause for the encourage them. Okay, madam, please come. Very brief. Morning, everyone. Thank you. My name is Omomi Ogunshemowo. Now I'm now Mrs. Ainde Omomi Ogunshemowo. I remember when I was in primary three. Then I have a big tummy, you can imagine. And I'm short. I can always be a stubborn girl in the class. So when they ask what is one, I will say two. When they say what is three, I will say four. But I thank God for my president. It's my party. It's my senior's party. The other one we call Omo West. She's in, is in U.S. now. Kazim. We are all together in the school. Most especially when we are in class. They say submit your plate. We will now put money inside our plate. You know we use the, this towa plate. That we ask cover. Then we eat banana, orange, everything. Then once we, the food seller brought the food to the class, I will be the first person to start checking everybody's food. I want to know which one is much more so that I can consume me, only me alone. So I was there, yeah. So I just give God the glory because then, when they now push us out from the school, we are now post to community. They say, hey, when we got to the school, we said, oh, but my all class one student are in trouble. We now say, ah, we are very short, oh. Our set is very, very short. And we are very stubborn. When it comes to that, we scatter school. But I just give God the glory that today, most of us, we are well to do. I give God the glory. Good morning, good afternoon. My name is Alec Akimumi Allen, and I was of the 7986. And I thank God for my life that today I'm a living soul. And I can remember very well that here, uh, Sadu, and then Yatosin yeah, Yonidodo, yeah, at that place, I was very, very, I mean, very, very used to those places. But then God did wonderful things in my life because I will have been dead in that school. I was very, very playful. Very, very, very playful. I, I was a very rough student. And, um, but I have this um, Miss Kim Paul. I very, very I had enough cane from Baba uh, Bola. <laughs> and I, I was, he would always take me to his place and then uh, kneel down there and I'll have enough of the cane. But then, upon all the notoriety that I've lived through this primary school and secondary school, my head, I have a mark here. Here, my head was broken. I was, we have this chair, iron chair with wood here, and I climb on one. I want to leap on someone else, like three, three seats away. And that slipped, and that hit my head. I was taken to the hospital. I was there for one week because I couldn't even, I mean, open my eye for that one week. But thank God today I can start here. Almost after 40 years, the school is celebrating 87, and I'm alive, standing here, well to do, to the glory of God. Thank you, my mates, are here, and I give glory to God. Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Demetokwe Ogbola, 7879 set. I thank God for the foundation that was given to us in Lady Lack. There is nowhere anyone could be in life without passing through that primary school. 
I appreciate God and I appreciate my parents as well. Because being the first child, I happen to be a very stubborn girl. But my father would never agree. My parents, let me put it together. Because when daddy slap you this way, mommy will use a second hand to slap you back. And um, I still appreciate I passed through Lady Luck. We always come all the way from Mushin then to Yaba. You must get to Yaba before 7 a.m. And um, I cannot count a lot of things that I really gained from Lady Luck. It's, it's, it has been a very good foundation for every one of us. And up to this moment, what we were taught then, moral education, I don't know, maybe they are still doing that presently, I don't know, is still upholding us to this moment. I thank God for taking me through Lady Luck. I thank God for taking me through my parents. And I thank God for being the foundation of our lives. Praise the Lord. I want to take this exception. I said three earlier. But I want to take this exception. Because my guy seems to be one of our hosts. So I'll give it to you. Praise the Lord. My name is, my name is Abdul Oluwashio. I was formerly known as Jimo Abudu. My testimony is that... Okay, actually, I'm a, I'm a student of Lady Luck. And I heard it in 2000. Right from, from the onset, my father gave birth to six children in Noble Street here. And it happens that every of the six children, I'm the last born, every of the six children attended Lady Luck here. And it was a great time schooling in this place. And anywhere I go to, I tell people that Lady Luck is the best nursery and primary school that I've ever come across with. Until tomorrow, I'll keep saying that. One of the testimonies I remember very well was through my, one of my class teachers in primary four. Her name is uh, Mrs. Umwosu. <laughs> I, there, there's a time that any time we're asked to bring food to school or money for, for lunch, and most of us don't come uh, with our money for the school. And any time is breaking time, she will call every one of us to bring our money out. And that was 2020 there then. And she's a, she's a, she's a Hebrew person. And the next thing she will be like, where is your money? So I had a lot of experiences in Lady Luck that at this moment is still one of the things that is uplifting me. That I thank God that I was one of the students in Lady Luck. Thank you. Mr. President, before you come forward, one of my seniors is threatening me with Kane here. So please allow me. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All protocols daily observe. The story of Lady Luck is not over until when we mentioned a great man, Mr. Folaren. <laughs> when it comes to discipline, by fire, by force, you must know it. Ah, if you say you are stubborn, he will teach you how to be humble and be yourself. Thank God for a great man like that that's shaping somebody like us that can jump from a story building <laughs> from one mountain to another when it comes to discipline. Talk of Mr. Folaren. When we talk of wisdom, knowledge, even imparting spiritual talk into your life. After the Kelly will still call you back. Did you know where I beat you? Did you know where you are okay? And students will never know why they are beating. Am I communicating with somebody? Yeah. You don't know that the teacher just beats me. And he beats me. But after beating, he will still call you to order. Did you know where you are beating? No, sir. That's all. Why did you miss? Go over and do it again. You don't do that next time. Yes, sir. And that discipline keeps us going. That if you want to leave your house, either you are in the morning or afternoon section, punctuality is the soul of business. That is one thing Lady Luck has taught us. And for those of us that are coming then, it is still 
with us. Even this morning when we are guarding ourselves, we are calling, you are going to Lady Lab. Mr. Fulani will be at the gate. So you better double up. Thank God for Lady La School. Long live Lady La. Thank you very much, my auntie. Thank you so much. I still fear my senior so that I don't get a cane outside this place. Thank you so much. I noticed something about what about two thirds of every other that came in said. He said, all of us, or most of us, we are stubborn. I don't know if you agree with them, but uh, for some of us, uh, uh, for somebody here, uh, I know I'm, I'm part of the testimony there. We are stubborn. I will thank God for the foundation of Lady Lack. If not for Lady Lack, we don't know where some of us would have been. So we thank God. Something came to mind. We will be going to the award presentation, etc. But something came to mind when Baba came in at 89. And uh, some of us are still here. I want to crave the injustice of my president to take this because I didn't tell you. And the permission of my reverend. To please, if we can all stand up and honor our past, both teachers and students that have gone to the great beyond. It's a great thing to see Baba here. So lots of them had gone. When if you even mention Dr. Uh, Mr. Folari, he's one of those we know that has gone to the great beyond. Please, with your permission, Mr. President, and my resident pastor and the pastorate, can we please rise up? One minute silence for the departed Lady Lark teachers and students. May their soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you so much for that reference. I wish I could give one or two testimonies of my own. But I know a day will come. I will still tell you one later on. So now we are going to the award presentation to individuals and puppies that we felt have shown themselves worthy in their faith, in whatever and what they are doing. Mr. President, I want to, yes, sir, to assist me in this task. Thank you so much, sir. Please, a round of applause for Mr. President. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, then. For these categories of award, I would like to call on one of our fathers in the house, to do that for us. The category is Academic Star Award. The categories are Academic Star Award and Academic Excellence. I will call on Reverend Abelua Samson to do us the honor of that. Reverend Samson Abelua. Abelua Samson. Sorry for that. Please. So, I will be calling on these various categories of individuals, students, for the first category, I'll call on the category is Academic Staff Award. And it goes to Miss Kodri Azimat of Primary 3. A round of applause for her, please. Where is Miss Kodri? Miss Kodri Azimat. Okay. My uh, VP, do please arrange someone to come and receive that. Also, in the same category, from Primary 4. I will call on Samuel Silver to come and receive this uh, award. Samuel Silver, Primary 4. Is he there? Okay. What about Kadri Azimat? Kadri Azimat, please come for a round of applause for her.
Nobody called me for any award when I was in primary school. Oh. Yes, one of my mom said I'm naughty. I will never. A round of applause for her, please. So on this on the same category, we have Emmanuel Silva, primary four. Is he back? Academy Star Award. Emmanuel Silva. Thank you, thank you. Is he around? Is he around? Maybe we can push it and let him call. Is he around, ma? Okay, let's go to the, to the next category. My father and Lord, you still be the one doing it, sir. The next category is academic excellence. The first person is Abikoye Samuel of Primary 4. Abikoye Samuel. A round of applause, please. Student, please. Where are my students? Abikoye Samuel, thank you very much. Day Day Drogba, thank you so much. Abikoye Samuel. But I remember one teacher there when I was in school. My primary, primary six teacher. Who can help me? 90, 89 set, 88 set. Primary six teacher, my class teacher. Who can remind me of her name? Mrs. Erola. Do we remember? A round of applause for me for remembering. Me. On the same category, academic excellence. I have Emmanuel Yunis, primary six. Where are you, Emmanuel Yunis? Yes, clap for her, please, as she's coming, Emmanuel Yunis, primary six. Please, thank you. Academic excellence. Please, a round of applause for her, please. That she's in the presence of her daddies and mommy. Before I ask Reverend to go to his seat, uh, Emmanuel Silva, is it here? So let somebody come and receive it on his behalf. Ma? Okay, sorry, sorry. Kodri Azimat. Kodri Azimat, let her come and receive it so that we can leave here. Okay? My, I understand, mistress. Please, you can receive on our on, the, on our behalf, please, so that we can go to the next category. Thank you. Thank you very much, Reverend Ale Oluwasa. Thank you so much, sir. We are highly grateful, sir. Another category, two other categories of award. The first one is Distinguished School Administrator Award. And the second one is the Most Innovative Teaching Practice Award. I will call on Reverend Olayemi Ayoko. Ayoko, sorry sir. Ayoko, to help us do justice to that. Thank you very much, our Reverend, our resident pastor. Now, the first person that will be calling to receive this award will be no other person than the headmistress of Lady Lack Institute Primary School in the person of Mrs. Oshidino Juliano Laimika. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lady Lack Institute Yaba, O student alumni, distinguished school administrator award presented to mrs oshidina juliana olayinka i hereby present it on behalf of the school god bless you ma'am Yes, so my president, you must know me start of the action. Thank you very much. Man. Thank you very much. So, sir, yes, you still have some things to do for us, sir. Under the same 
category, which is Distinguished School Administrator Award. I'll call on Mrs. Faramo Yabode Oluatoin, as that administrator Lady Lack Institute Primary School, and also an old student of Lady Lack Institute Primary School. All those students, please encourage our colleagues. Amen. Here is a distinguished and old student also. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I think Lady Lack is already eating the fruit of our labor. Yes. <laughs> Lady Lack is still Yaba. Distinguished School Administrator Award presented to Mrs. Faroma Yabodi Uluatuni. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. God bless. So, sir, if you are going to the second category in which you are going to help us with, and the second category is the most innovative teaching practice award. The most innovative teaching practice award. And the first person on my list is Mrs. Olorundare Oluakemi Taiwo. Amen. Okay, I can see the children themselves acknowledge this. A round of applause for her again. Okay, okay. Mommy, your work is speaking. Oh. Amen. Lady, Lady Lark Institute Yaba, old student alumni, the most innovative teaching practice award presented to Mrs. Olorundare Olukemi Taiwo. We hereby present it on the behalf of the school in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you very much, sir. So one more thing before you go, sir. I still have one other person to call. For the same category of award, which is the most innovative teaching practice award, the second person on my list is Mrs. Akeagbe Adepola Adenike. A round of applause for her, please. Akinagbe. Thank you very much. Akinagbe. I think I'm calling the, sec the name the second time today. Mrs. Akinagbe Adepola Adenike. Yes, ma'am. A round of applause for her. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lady Lark Institute Yaba, old student alumni, the most innovative teaching practice award presented to Mrs. Akinagbe Adebola Adenike. We hereby present it on behalf of the Institute. Bless you. Thank you very much, my reverend, sir. You can kindly have your seat, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Before I go into the next category of award, I need to recognize somebody in our midst. She walked in when all the things were going on, and that is the, pre the headmistress of Methodist, headmistress of Methodist Primary School, and that is Mrs. Fatula. A round of applause for Mrs. Can you rise? Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma. You are welcome, ma. Thank you so much. I hope I'll get an invite when we are doing our... Thank you very much, ma. So, the next category we'll be going to is the categories of award for retired teachers. So, we have the number one. That will be taken care by... That will be taken care for us by Pastor Tunde Ojo, as time resident pastor. My Ogasa. Please, sir. My pastor in the house, sir. Thank you so much. So, the first category in this category, excellent, uh, uh, yes, excellent effort award. The first person is Mrs. Shonowo Titilayo Yabode. She's one of our retired teachers. A round of applause for her. Okay. One of my teachers should come and receive this on her stand. She's one of our retired teachers. I mean, these are categories of retired. Oh, she's okay. She's still in service. Okay, we are sorry for that. 
who will take serious note. Our word is one of our old teachers. Sorry for the, the word is one of our old teachers. Thank you very much. Mrs. Shonawa Titilayo Yabode, one of our old teachers in the school. Okay, sir, we will do that. Uh. Also, we have Mr. Okbala. Oh, oh, sorry. I will give that honor to my president to do that. When my, uh, my pastor is standing there, sorry, sir. My president will invite the next awardee to come and receive it. My president, sir. All right, sir. Thank you very much uh, for the privilege. I, want, I would like to take the biography of uh, uh, dear daddy. As I've said, she's going, is going to clock 89 next month. So please, let's uh, just listen to this biography of Pa Joseph Ajose. Pa Joseph Ajose Obola was born on the 2nd of October 1932 by late Madam Alice Ibidu, wife of late David Obola of Ile Sao Olowomeye Uru Kota Ikere Ikiti. He attended St. Luke's Primary School, Ikere Ikiti. After the completion of Standard 6 examination, he came to Lagos in December 1954. By January 1955, he was appointed as a primary school teacher by Aglican Mission to Aglican Primary School, Akeson, for three years and later transferred to Aglican Primary School, Olonu Shola, Ayobo for a year. Thereafter, he gained admission to grade three teachers. Grade three teachers training college for two years. After completion of the two years course, he was appointed as a teacher in Asarudin Primary School, Mushin, between 1959 and 1961. He got married in 1965 and was blessed with children. Pa Joseph Ajose Ogbola was appointed as a teacher at Lady Lack Primary School, a papa, from 1962 to 1966. In the year 1967, he went to grade two government teaching teachers training college, After the course, he was appointed as a teacher at Lady Lack Primary School, Yaba from 1969 to 1985 and from there he was transferred to Estate Primary School where he retired in the year 1990. I have the uh, honor to invite him to the podium for this great award that he deserves. Let's put our hands together for him. Thank you very much. A round of applause for my... Oh. Apart from the... One of my ones that came out, okay, he's, he's doing paparazzi. Who else can give me, can give me... Yeah, can remind me something about Papa as we... Well, apart from you, you are a stubborn boy then. You are a stubborn boy then. Another person that remember Papa... Ladi Lag. Ladilag okay. Institute, Yaba, old student alumni, excellent effort award presented to Mr. Ogbola. 
Joseph at Joseph. Retired teacher, Ladylike like Institute Yaba. In recognition of your selfless hard work and, and support towards the development of Lady Lack Institute Yaba. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much. A round of applause as Baparazi Adwindayo. Okay. Papa has a, a, a couple of words. Okay then. Yes, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God in the highest. I, I thank you very much. The old student of Lady Lack School, Yaba. I pray the Almighty God will raise you up to the highest order. Now, I, my only advice to you is wherever you may be, remember the son or daughter of whom you are. And Yoruba already says, charity begins at home. I am much impressed with the way I was invited because I don't think I was it. I pray Almighty God will be your light. Amen. Wherever you be, please be honest to your work, be honest to your boss, be honest to your country. We, it seems this country has a neglected the creator may he the creator help us to wake from our slumber god bless you all thank you very much a round of applause for my daddy okay the next category of our award right now is a uh, Legacy of the Nigerian Child Award, and that will be presented, that will be done for us by Reverend Leko. So, Reverend Leko, sir, you are going to present, you are going to present the award to, we just have a single recipient of this. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I've been corrected that uh, Reverend Undubisi Oswala will be the one to make the to present the award legacy of the nigerian child so sir if you can move forward there so i only have a single recipient of this award and that is honorable tajudin tijani is the es that is education secretary lagos mainland local government education authority if it okay my headmistress is doing the needful a round of applause on behalf of Honorable Tajudi. To present to Honorable Tajudi Tijani, in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. I have two more awards. It seems the principal will not go yet. My president, you are going to do a presentation for me for the school. And that is the presentation of the first day box before we go to. Okay. Before we go to the last one. So, Mr. President, please do the presentation of that to the headmistress. Just one of our little talking to the school. Thank you very much, my president. Uh, 
I will still have to call on my resident pastor, sir, to help me with this last category. I have been given nothing, so I have to use my discretion. And I feel, sir, you'll be the one to be able to do justice to this. And the category is CSR, that is Corporate Social Responsibility Award category. So, Reverend Olaemi, our resident pastor, can you please, once again, call for us, sir to help us with this exercise again. A round of applause for my... So, I'll be calling on these two individuals. They serve as a light bearer. They serve as a torch in the darkness. And uh, their leadership role has brought us together now and uh, is still going to lead us as we go forward. So, the first person I'll be calling will be my president in the person of Mr. Akishoyo Akiyosoye Olado too. He's the president of Lady Lack Institute Primary School Old Student Association. My president, sir, please come forward and receive this Corporate Social Responsibility Award. He's a light bearer. If he had not called us, please. We are all supposed to be standing to receive this honey. Please, if you had not called us, I wouldn't have known some of the people I have not seen. He sent Amen. you in, in decades. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You have done well. Did it lack Institute Yaba, old student alumni, a corporate social responsibility award presented to Akin Yosoye Ola Dotun, president. Lady Lack Institute alumna, in recognition of your selfless, hard working, and support towards the improvement of Lady Lack Institute Yaba, we so present it on behalf of the school and the old student, and we say congratulations to you. Can you imagine somebody all the way from Abuja comes in every now and then if there is a meeting? I, do, I don't see myself having that dedication. He comes in, meets with him, just come and in. Please, a round of applause for him. A round of applause for him. The next person, though I'm jealous, so, will be my vice president of Lady Lack Institute Old Student Association in the person of Mrs. Fumilayo Showolu. A round of applause for her. Please, a round of applause for her. Thank you very much. Until I approach, I approach. If you come with the side, I side. Amen. Lady Lack Institute Yaba, old student alumni, corporate social responsibility award presented to Oluwa from Milayo, Shobita, Sowolu. So Olu, not San Olu, So Olu, Vice President, Lady Lark Institute alumni. The Lord bless you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Committee, I hope I'll get an award for this job I'm doing. You know? Okay. And I want uh, a, a resident pastor to do the presentation to me. Please, the choir, you help us now. We want to start start our thanks. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate that. We want to start this Thanksgiving in proper. At least we want to do Thanksgiving. So I want to help Thanksgiving stroke, the cutting of the cake. So all students, wherever you are, can we all please meet somewhere and uh, we lead ourselves forward as a choir. We usher us in with a song but to me i feel if you are coming for the thanksgiving personal opinion no there should be our old rhymes and the rest on the eastern side of your battle can we come in with that no which one will you support me with okay thank you lord thank you lord
Hallelujah. Koro bi o she wa. Koro bi o she she. Koro bi o she soro. O shanto jure lo jo jumo. Koro bi o she wa. Koro. Shamuar, Bye. 
Jofu Baba Kimba Jo Ma pere mole ma gbega ma gbe Jesus ye o wa mi loke ma haleluya ma pere mole ma gbe Jesus o wa wa loke ma haleluya ma pere mole ma gbe Jesus o wa wa loke ma haleluya Thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Amen. You want to say, Lord, thank you? For the alumni, the old students, old poopy, they are now men and women, great men and women, who the Lord has preserved, who God put it in their memory to return and appreciate God. For seeing them through the time they were in school, with old memories of what the Lord has done for them. And they return with thanksgiving, they return with dancing. They return with enthusiasm. They return with a glory, with song in their mouth. Father, I want to say thank you. The Lord Jesus, he ten lepers. Only one return. And that one was made whole. I decree today, kneeling down before the Lord, giving thanks and rejoicing. I pray. Rejoicing will never depart from your life. Have a dance and recognize what the Lord has done and return the glory back to Him. Anything missing in your life, anything missing in your marriage, anything missing in your life, in your business, anything missing in your family, whatever it is right now, as you kneel down before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I command those things to be replaced, to be put back, to be put in shape in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone that is sick in the body, it was healing Jesus, heal them. And they return with testimony. I decree when next you will come around, it shall be with testimony. Amen. And I pray for you, the same time you have come to thank God and to give back to your alma mater. Those who are supposed to have received, giving you something. Those who are supposed to have blessed you. Those who are supposed to have promoted you. Those who are supposed to have uh, uh, speak on your behalf. I decree right now because you have done the needful. They will do it right now in Jesus name. In years to come. You will remember again and again. You will be here again and again. The joy of the Lord will only be for you. Is anyone among you kneeling down that have not known Jesus as his own personal Lord and Savior? By this act of gratitude, I decree, may Jesus form and reign in your life, in your home, in everything concerning you in Jesus' name. Every work of the devil come to an end in your life. And it shall be well with you. I pray for Lady Lack, you continue to produce glorious great children in Jesus name. Amen. I pray for Lady Lack continually henceforth more and more glorious children, glorious men and women who will lead Nigeria will come out of you in Jesus name. Amen. What we have done today, more of you will come Amen. to the glory and honor of his name. Amen. For in Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. Can we shout that amen again? Amen. amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Let somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> so on behalf of the alumni of the Ladilac Institute, 
we we present this to the church praise the lord amen Amen. I don't know what to say. Let me say first and foremost that it wasn't me that allowed you to come. Rather, first God and second is my father and the Lord, the senior pastor and who happened to be the general overseer of First Square Gospel Church in Nigeria. is the one that approved it and the one that said the memory lane of Lady Lack and Foursquare is something that we cherish in this place. And so, even if we have opportunity, we'll do more for Lady Lack. I say you are welcome. We want to thank the old boys and guests for doing this. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Every prayer we are praying for you stand in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are shouting, Amen. Glorious thing will be happening in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. We appreciate it. God bless you. Before you go, sir, my reverend, sir, sorry, sir, I, my organizer just told me something. There's an award that we missed, so I want to quickly ask your indulgence to help us do justice to this. It's CCSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. And this, we go to the Alagomeji diaspora. They've been the one giving us, assisting us from afar. The idea to are giving back to their alma mater. In that case, I will call on call on Toy the um seventy nine eighty said to come forward. Toy, please, Auntie, thank you very much. A round of applause while she is receiving on behalf of the uh, the, the Alagomeji in diaspora. Some of the jobs or projects you have seen there are being done by them from far from diaspora. They are still giving back to the alma mater. A round of applause for them, please. Praise the Lord. Did it like it to Yaba, old students, alumni, corporate social responsibility award presented to Akin Yosuye. No. Okay, Allah Gomeji in diaspora. Uh, may the Lord bless this group in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. God bless you. A round of applause for her on behalf of the diaspora. My president, thank you very much. Mr. Organizer, join them. So you take this, though, so you have something to show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A round of applause for everybody. So, sir, thank you very much. Thank you for accepting us. And thank you for thank you. everything, sir. So, be, uh, vote of thanks. Before then, before vote of thanks, I will call on, let us do justice to this, to the cake. So, everybody, can we come forward? All old students, please. All old students. we we'll do it in two just two categories. No, we do it in three categories. We have to be very fast with it, please. Organize, arrange ourselves. All those students, the... Oh, yeah, I know, I know. All students, please. Paparazzi, take it. We won't wait for anybody. It's going to be done in three, four categories. All student staff will be the second category. Then the student will be the third category. Then the fourth category will be, which will be the final category, will be the executive cum uh, organizing committee. And then my chairman organizing committee will give his closing remark. Sir, with your permission, I want to... Okay, you can use the barrel. It's okay. We are all students. Yes. We are all going to spare. Okay, to the back. You can climb. Climb up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, then. Okay. One more look, okay. 
So, We are all going to spell Lady Luck after LLI. We call uh, Lady Luck, we call it. So let's go. L A D I L A K. Okay, thank you. Now, I will call on the students to join us before we call the staff. The reason why I pause is I want to give about the time to work here. So when the students are about leaving, we'll be bringing the staff. Hey, no, 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 Baba. Children, just move right the cake. All students... Eh, 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 behave yourself so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I move to this side. More to this side. Move to, more to this side. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yes. Thank you. So this one we just go L L I and we cut. Is that right? Do you know? Do you all know what L L I is? Yes. Okay, when I call final you just tell me and then we cut it. Do we understand? Meanwhile, Edward keep up my bobe. Baba ni kono kora maba mu bobe. L L I. Thank you very much, Auntie me. Please help me support. Papa Rizzi can continue. Help his auntie. Yes, Papa Rizzi, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. The, take your time. Take your time. The staff should get started. Should get ready. As Baba is getting there, staff should join us. And my principal from Methodist, uh, headmistress from Methodist, my you to join us. Ma. Baba should be the center of attraction there. Where my two principal, the two headmistress, gives Baba, give Baba the support needed. Then the committee, get ready why my committee chairman will give. All staff, please let's support Baba. Auntie, me, I know my boy. Grandma, please support Baba. Please, yes. Let me go, my Baba, Baba. Yeah, move your clock. Eighty-nine, ninety. We'll be living here in another couple. This is just, we are just spelling, spelling. No, I will just call uh, Rita 
Macaulay and we caught it because we need to ref so after the call of Macaulay we caught it so let's go Mrs. Rita Macaulay let's go thank you very much thank you Ma please wait a round of applause for everybody stay 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 one can draw can I draw can I picture My committee chairman and his team with the executive, the final call is yours. So please, committee chairman, the executives, all members of the committee, please come forward. All committee members and the executive, come forward. Why we take this, the committee chairman will give the vote of thanks and we fall in. Committee chairman, you there, okay. The executive. Oh, my bit of one. While we are waiting for the vote of thanks, I will want my choir to be getting ready for the closing in. To God be the glory. Okay. Hello. Okay. Sorry, we missed one, so we quickly do. Please, all our pastors and reverend in there. Sorry, can you please join us to celebrate by joining us to call this cake? The the president, the head of a committee. And the vice president should be there where we join. And my principal headmistress, you can join us too with the pastorate. Thank you. We are waiting for the principal, the committee, the president, the vice president. And Methodist principal, ma, please. Methodist, please. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you so much, ma. Yes, ma. Yes. Um, the two principals can be in the middle where they are being. Okay. Yes, I thank you very much. So. Thank you so very much. Now we call on the chairman of the organizing committee to give us a vote of thanks. Thank you, Mr. Ben. I would like to say thank you, Lord, for thank Almighty God for giving us today for us to be here. I would like to say also to say thank you, Lord, for our resident pastor because it's just a short note that we gave him and he was telling us he will surely approve it and he surely approve it. I would also like to say thank you to all the pastors in the house, especially the uh, pastor in Dubisi because Kante's time I will call him and he's here to pick the calls. I would also like to say thank you Lord. Thank you for the pre uh, for the mistress and all the teachers and all the uh, alumna for giving me the opportunity to be here today because if not for them i don't know what we'll be doing i also like to say again thank you almighty god for giving us today because as i yesterday was pouring out and i was even thinking will everybody come out today but with god on our side everything went on smooth Thank you, Lord, for my president, my vice president, for giving me the opportunity to be here today. I would like to end my thanks.
to my MC upon all the stress running down from Kodu Daniel, Mr. Yinka Ademuiwa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everybody for being here. It's God all the way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you very much, my class captain. A round of applause for him. He has not made me. Is it, is it, okay, let me leave the podium before we continue our own after the service. So, calling on the choir for the closing hymn while we round up, which is yeah. to God be the glory, great things he has done. My choir. Can you all stand up? Just stand as we pray. But before I pray, let me say this few words while standing so that I will not go far. A teacher, probably in the primary school, a lady lack, was teaching the children, the student, mathematics. And he gave them 10 questions. He was trying to solve it. Intentionally, he missed the first question. Don't forget, it's the mathematics teacher. He missed the first question. And he got the other nine right. And all the students were shouting, Teacher, you missed the first one. It was only the first one they saw and they remember. All the remaining nine, they never see it. And that is how we are naturally. We don't remember anything good they have done for us. 
But the one that is wrong, they will remember. I want to thank this old student association who remember the good thing they did like I've done. In fact, I was so happy when I had them, even the flogging. I remember then they, they won't like it. But they are referring to it as they make them wear. I want to say thank you. And I also also thank the teachers of Lady Lack. Actually, the principal, uh, the uh, head teacher and others. Listen, if they can do this to others, your own is coming. Because the same way they remember the, those who are passed, and these are students of yesteryears. And I believe we are sowing the seed in the heart of this small one, directly or indirectly. In years to come, they will remember you too. Amen. And they will always, always cherish all you have taught them. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for helping us. You have done all things well. We have we started this program and here we are ending it gloriously. And you have done all things well. Father, we want to say thank you. Jesus, we want to say thank you. And as we close now, Lord, your presence will go with us. You take everyone home safely. And the memory of today, it shall be blessed in Jesus' name. We decree, Lady Lasco will continue to work stronger and stronger. Those who are current students, this seed they have sown today will germinate and will produce results in their life. Amen. And as God bless them, they will remember their institution and they also remember their teachers. Amen. And it shall be well with you. Amen. Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Amen. rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Thank you.